Arlene was never a threat to Louisiana, but there's still a whole lot of hurricane season in front of us, and Rachel Hanley has been looking into the best ways to prepare while it's still quiet. Rachel, where should people start? Well, when you get a chance, step outside and just take a look at your home. Do you see any weak looking trees or big branches that could fall during a storm? If so, take care of those now before everyone is looking for chainsaws and gasoline. Next, check your gutters and catch basins if you have them. Keeping those clean throughout the season will save you time later on. Also, if you live in a mobile home, make sure you know how to secure it against high winds. You can also use this time to check your supplies. This is what you should include in a shelter at home kit in case you're not evacuating, according to Nola Reddy. It includes food, first aid supplies, medication, and picking up some jugs of drinking water now would also be a good idea. Just remember, even though it technically never expires, the FDA says you shouldn't store it in a warm place or anywhere near household chemicals. You can also make a plan in case you do have to evacuate. Know where you would go, what you would take, and don't forget if you have pets, they'll probably be coming with you. That means scouting pet friendly hotels ahead of time and making sure you have their food and medications on hand too. And probably the most important thing to take care of now, flood insurance. We know it's frustrating. Thanks to FEMA's new risk rating system, most homeowners are paying way more for flood insurance now than they did two years ago. But it's still critical to have since flooding isn't usually covered by homeowners insurance and new policies generally take 30 days to take effect. So double check that you're covered now, not when there's a storm in the Gulf. FEMA has a site where you can search for insurance providers. We have that link on our website, wwltv.com. Whitney.